today we are going to make butter gravy for butter chicken or butter paneer or malai kofta you can make anything which requires a butter gravy we are just going to show you how butter gravy is made so we'll need oil one tablespoon two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste one katori or a bowl of tomato puree one katori or a bowl of fresh cream fresh milk cream and uh, garam masala half a teaspoon one teaspoon of dry methi leaves or kasuri methi three fourths of a teaspoon of red chili powder coriander powder one teaspoon salt one teaspoon and sugar one teaspoon keep a pan on high heat and uh, put oil and let it heat when the oil is hot add the ginger garlic paste stir the ginger garlic paste a few times and add the kasuri methi or the dry fenugreek leaves stir the ingredients till they're roasted to a light brown color on medium flame keep the flame on medium now the garlic has started emitting its aroma it's roasted now so add the tomato puree stir the tomato puree a few times and then add salt and uh, red chili powder garam masala the coriander powder and now stir the tomato puree we'll need to cook the tomato puree for some time uh, we have taken uh, about five medium sized uh, tomatoes to make the tomato puree depending on how much you need you can reduce or increase the number of tomatoes for the puree the tomato puree is cooked, the water is reduced and now we'll add the fresh cream. This milk cream has been stirred a bit to remove or dissolve all the lumps. So it's a smooth uh, consistency cream. So once we add the cream, we'll cook it for some time. The flame is on medium. And we'll add the sugar as well, that's the sugar going in. The sugar is added to offset the slight sourness or the tartness of the tomatoes. The gravy is a bit sour so we are going to add a little more of the fresh cream. We will beat the cream before we put it in but you can add uh, milk as well if you don't want to add uh, cream or don't want to increase the uh, calories in the gravy. For some extra flavor, we'll add one fourth of a teaspoon of green cardamom powder. You may skip it if you don't want to. You can also add cashew paste, but that will make the gravy very heavy, very high on calories. So we have avoided adding that. Cook the gravy for about five to seven minutes and it'll be ready. The gravy is ready. Now we have some koftas made here of potatoes and uh, paneer or cottage cheese. We'll be adding this and then we'll uh, slightly and lightly stir the koftas carefully so that they do not break so this is how you make the butter gravy you can use it for butter chicken for butter paneer for malai kofta whatever you wish here is a malai kofta dish but you can add uh, chicken or paneer to the gravy but do try the butter gravy recipe it's quite simple to make thanks for watching have a nice day and do share this recipe thank you